When he turns his back on refugees, what do we do? Stand up, fight back. When he turns his back on refugees, what do we do? Stand up, fight back. When he turns his back on refugees, what do we do? Stand up, fight back. When the Muslim freedom is under attack, what do we do? Stand up, fight back. When Muslim freedom is under attack, what do we do? Stand up, fight back. When Muslim freedom is under attack, what do we do? Stand up, fight back. Y'all yeah. having a good time out there? Yeah. We're gonna win, right? Yeah. We're gonna win, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so sanctuary cities. I don't know. Uh, my executive order will cut funding for sanctuary cities. All right. Requires cities to expand their own taxpayer resources to enforce federal immigration laws. They will be cut off. I promise because I don't lie. To roll back and repeal parts of the affordable. Oops, I'm on a wholly other subject, friends. All right. Those sanctuary. Exactly. I'm, I'm messing up and I'm, I'm, I'm okay though. Anyway, you Philadelphia people are going to cut off your sanctuary city funding. All right. <laughs> Thank you. He's not that Thank polite. you. <laughs> oh, sorry. Not that. <laughs> Too polite. Um, all right, here to discuss the Sanctuary City Executive Order um, and Philadelphia as a Sanctuary City is Councilwoman Helen Gim. She is the first Asian American Democrat on the City Council. Councilwoman at Large Gim is a community organizer, journalist, and former school teacher. She has been on City Council. Since 2016, please welcome Councilwoman Helen Gim. All right, Philadelphia, how are we feeling? My name's Helen Gim, and I am incredibly proud to be your Councilwoman here today. I stand here unapologetically defiant of this president's executive orders against sanctuary cities. Yes. You will not 
be ruled by fear of your police. Yes. You will not be ruled by fear of yes. federal agents yes. committing acts yes. of that go against due process. Yes. And, we'll, and we are not going to walk back. That's right. That's right. We're not going to walk back to what this president wants. What this president wants is for black and brown people to be detained indefinitely without charge in our city jails on our dime. We're not going to do that. No! Push back! He wants to terrorize children who are part of mixed status families to tell them that they cannot be sure that they will come home to see their parents again. We're not going to do that either. No. No. Push back! Last week I was at the airport and when we think about how we push back against all of this, I love Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders, but honest to God, this is not their fight. This is not their fight. This is a people's fight. We've got to lead it. And the actions at the airport last month showed us what that looks like. We sent out a message that asked and believed that there were families that were being detained at the airport who are in immediate danger of deportation. And Philadelphia's responded by the hundreds. You blocked 95. Yes! You poured in. Yes! 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 FEMSA was packed. And guess what happened after that? A governor came. A senator came. Yes! Congressman came. Yes! The politicians don't leave this fight. The people do. Yes! Eastern District Court judge stays there until 2 o'clock in the morning to issue a stay for those families. Yeah. And the next morning, when 7,000 people came out to the airport, those families were released for freedom and to walk freely in this United States. Yeah. I want people to know that that's what people power can do. It is not just about rule of law. It is not just about an authoritarian di dictator in the White House. And it is not just about Congress. This is a fight for each and every one of us here today. And that means it's a fight that is within your hands to take action on. So when we talk about sanctuary, don't just let it be a law on policy. Let it be a place in your heart. Make room in your church. Make room in your daily life. Make room to stand up for the undocumented. Yes. Yes. Make room to believe that human and civil and constitutional rights will be here for everybody. Thank you. Different issues and concerns. I'm finding so many different mentalities. It seems hard. It seems it seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything else is a challenge. So so I'm ready. I'm ready for this challenge. And I was built. I was built for this. I think that we all have a purpose in life. And mine.